And speaking of Apple, there's a UBS note out today basically saying that growth in China for Apple, the iPhone, is going to rebound next year. Listen, I think, <laughs> I think it's hard to bet against Apple because they keep changing the world. And whether or not, you know, the, their most recent announcement, whether or not investors or analysts got all excited about the changes that they made, the fact is Apple is Apple. And they continue to change the world. And whether it's the United States, whether it's China, I think China, I think they're right. I think China's a growth area. I think the United States, I think Europe is a growth area for, for Apple. So therefore, I, it's hard to bet against Apple. No. And speaking of Apple, uh, Thursday is the 10 year anniversary that the iPhone first went on sale. I mean, how do you quantify that as an investor? Uh, you, listen, go back and say, I'd have to go back. I wish you'd said that to me because we could have gone back and compared it. Um, Apple has had this amazing, amazing run in the last 10 years, ever since they started with the iPhone. And now the, only, the iPhone only continues to get better, it gets more exciting, it does more things, and so therefore, I think the world is its oyster, right? I mean, I, I, it's hard to quantify it. It's a, it's a tremendous company, it's a tremendous stock, uh, and so people, the Apple's the kind of name you buy and you just hold it. Mm. You know, unless you're a day trader in and out, if you're a long-term investor, you buy it and you just hold it, you put it away and you forget about it.